Kam rritur në Shqipëri dhe kam rritur pjesë në ditën e sot me të protestës organizuar nga partia demokratike një thirje për qytetarët e Shqipëris në emër të një beteje për zhjetet e lira edhe një nga profesusit më të rëndësishëm të kristian, demokrat dhe gjerman. Jam tu me zotin Paul Zimjak për të kuptuar në bështetjen që kanë vendosur të rind kristian, demokrat të japin kësaj proteste për ceptimin e ti lidur me zhvillimet në Shqipëri, qëfar do të thot kjo protest edhe qëfar pritet nga Shqipëria në rukëtimin e saj në familjen e përbashkët europiane. Mr. Cimia, thank you for being with us. Thank you very much. This is the first time in Albania? No, it's the second time. It's a beautiful country, beautiful people, very nice people, and it's a pleasure to be here. So, but you're turning back. I think you have been in more peaceful times. Now you're turning back in more difficult times. Why are you here and what are you representing? Um, I'm the chairman of the um, youth organization of the Christian Democrats in Germany, the leading party in Germany, and I'm here to discuss with young people. I spoke um, in the tent, uh, which is in front of the uh, office of the, pr uh, of the Prime Minister, uh, and I spoke about our values. I think we share the same values, young people in Europe. This is um, democracy, the balance of power, um, the power of law, and all these things are important, I think, for every country in Europe to be successful means that every person has an opportunity uh, to make the best in his life. I think the main topic is that you have uh, fair and free elections. And that is a discussion a lot of young people are discussing about that. Um, and uh, there is a protest on the street and I think uh, one part, uh, one, one necessary part of a democracy is that people uh, can go on the street and, and, um, and say what is their opinion about uh, the things that are going on here in Albania. And uh, they have a lot of uh, topics, uh, corruption, uh, crime, and of course the next election. So I support them because uh, is this is part of every democracy. I cannot uh, tell you what the government has to do. That is not my, uh, my office, but um, I think when people are going on the street and are asking questions, first of all, I uh, support them. Mr. Basha has decided uh, not to go to the elections with this government because of the problem of uh, uh, the drugs which may uh, in a sense or in another uh, pay you know, to buy the votes of the Albanians because of the decriminalization that has not been finalized yet and because of a strong lack of trust toward this government to hold free election. Do you support Mr. Basha in this? initiative. So uh, Mr. Basha is an amazing person, uh, uh, amazing leader, especially a strong voice for the young people in Albania and he's asking very very important questions. Uh, he's asking about um, uh, how can the state guarantee that the election will be fair and I think um, the government has to answer this question and the people uh, has to answer this question. They are going on the street. I think that's uh, a very important right, the freedom of speech. Uh, so um, it's not my job to answer this question, uh, but I think it's, uh, it's very good that Mr. Buscher is asking these questions. Do you think this is a popular movement and what people are asking are really strong issues to protest for? I, I have a lot of friends here. I spoke with a lot of young people, especially uh, during this day here on the streets too. Um, and yes, it's a very popular, a very big movement. Uh, and I think that's very good because we know that there are problems, especially corruption is a, is a big problem, not only in Albania, but also. Uh, and I think in this, in the whole Balkan, it's that a big problem. Um, and when people are asking me, um, they, they want to live in Germany. A lot of people. A lot of people are coming and want to live in Germany, uh, but because they see no future here. And that is a very bad situation. So, so yes, absolutely. So we have to give, uh, all Europeans have to give hope for these young people in Albania. And the first step to give, uh, give hope is to fight against corruption. That's the first thing. So it's good that the, uh, the people are going on the street and fighting for less corruption. Uh, is there any concern in Germany right now for the situation of drugs in Albania? You know, there have been many reports, even from the Italian representatives, about the situation here in our country. Is there a strong concern? Absolutely, the situation is serious. Uh, we, in, I think, in whole Europe, uh, the people uh, are looking to the Balkan and see what is going on. The problem in Albania is maybe that the the problem with the drugs is growing and is not uh, not uh, going uh, uh, less and less and less that's maybe the problem and so it's a very important topic
And uh, the election in Albania, the last question, the elections in Albania are the, in the 18th of June, so we are five months apart of this. And uh, Mr. Basha has said that with this government, we cannot go toward elections because there is a strong lack of trust. He talks about a technical government, so to create another environment of trust uh, for the people to go and to vote and the vote to be considered. Um, but if this doesn't happen, he say we're going to boycott, the, we are not going to enter the, the elections. Do you have an opinion about all this? Um, there has to be a guarantee for free and equal elections. Uh, that's very important, uh, that people have the right to give their votes without that somebody else is knowing. And the state has to create a system which uh, gives this guarantee. And I think this is important. Uh, just <laughs> in a last moment, I have this. Have you followed the situation in Albania in these last three or four years? Yes, uh, absolutely. Um, um, so do you know the work of this government and the job it has done? Yes, I cannot comment the, the work of the government, but I see that there are problems and um, there was a solution in the past um, on the paper mm -hmm. and I see that the discussion is still on the street or is now on the street and um, the demonstrants, in, uh, the, demon the people who are going on the street, they are asking questions and the government has to answer it. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>